Some years ago I was reading the work of the Danish philosopher Søren Kierkegaard and it was one of the most difficult intellectual experiences I'd had up to that point. It was a bit like wading through a muddy bog wearing a huge pack on your back with boots filled with water and maybe some horrible bog creatures underneath trying to pull you down at the same time. It literally felt like I was making no progress whatsoever. It almost felt like I was going backwards the more I read. For me, this is what Stretch and Challenge is about. Maybe not to that extent on all occasions, but about going to somewhere you might think of as the zone of uncertainty. An area where you're no longer absolutely sure of what you're doing or how things connect together. So it goes beyond, I think, the main core of a lot of learning that we do, which is where we're learning something new, but we can fit it reasonably comfortably into our existing frameworks. I think stretch and challenge is where we push slightly beyond that and things get a bit more difficult. So in my case there, where I was reading Kierkegaard, for me I was definitely in this zone of uncertainty. I didn't fully understand the concepts he was using, I didn't understand the cultural context from which he was writing. And as a result, I was really struggling to make any sense of the themes inherent to his work. However, with effort and persistence and reading around the topic, eventually I got there. I would say that I'm still not overly confident with uh, his oeuvre, but I'm a lot more confident than I was at the time. So I think we can take this idea of the zone of uncertainty and share it with students and tell them how when you're being challenged, when you're being stretched, you're very often going to a place which is difficult, ambiguous, where you don't have as many tools or bits of prior experience on which you can call as you do in the majority of your learning. So you can talk about this in the classroom and you can say to students things like, right, in this lesson we're going to go into the zone of uncertainty. Or things like, okay, well this next task it's got a main section to it that we're all going to do, but if you really want to stretch and challenge yourself, have a go at the extension, where things get a lot more uncertain and you will have some difficulties. So there's two things going on here. The first thing is we're finding a little bit of language we can use to help students make sense of stretch and challenge. Now, you might not like the term zone of uncertainty, and you could use something else, of course, but I think it's nice to have a shared language that you and the students can use to talk about what's happening. The second thing is that when we're working with learners, when we're thinking about stretch and challenge, we need to be thinking carefully about what is going to really push them beyond those areas with which they're comfortable or in which they can operate fairly comfortably. So for me, stretch and challenge is all about taking students outside their comfort zone. This could be intellectually or it could be practically, depending what area of the curriculum you're working in. But once they're outside that comfort zone, they're having to work really hard to go beyond what they can already do. And one way to conceptualise this is with the idea of the zone of uncertainty. You can talk to students about it, they can use it to try and make sense of what's happening and why you're pushing them, why you're stretching them to think further. Golden Nugget. Use the zone of uncertainty as a concept to help students think about and understand stretch and challenge.